Definitions of uh, romance and filmmakers, of course, are no exception. To celebrate Valentine's Day this weekend, Tom Yu is here to look at the movie's perception of passion. I know you, I walked with you once upon a dream. Ah, romantic love. This is the common view of romantic love as presented to us by Hollywood. It's both literally and figuratively a fairy tale. A virginal princess will only respond to the kiss of a handsome prince. Any sociologist will also tell you that it's that concept of romantic love, which breeds unrealistic expectation, which contributes to a higher divorce rate. Not that I'm equating Walt Disney and divorce. So what's all this got to do with Valentine's Day? Well, without getting into a chicken and egg situation, a society's perception of love is reflected in their culture. Our most powerful cultural tool, after, of course, television, is the cinema. So what's it been telling us? Well, this is Hollywood. Each one of these candies is a movie about love and or romance. You've got your cream filled, lots of cream filled. Occasionally, though, you get one with a little texture. I love you. I love you, Cassie. I love you. In the past, Hollywood looked upon romance in the movies with a much more Victorian eye than it does now. Today's movies can even mock the morality of just 20 years ago. I've got the hair. I've got the teeth. I've got the eyes. Oh, Peggy, look outside that window. I've got the car. I'm the lead singer. I'm the man. Why are you arguing with me? We've come a long way from overt sentiment like that, but still not as far as you might think. For the most part, mainstream Hollywood movies still present a very traditional view of romance. Boy meets girl, and hormones surge. I can see it's dangerous for you. But if the government trusts me, maybe you could. Her big move should be coming up any moment. The combination hair flip with a giggle. There's a 3.2 degree of difficulty here, Joe. Let's see if she can pull it off. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Oh. 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 oh, bravo. 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 Yes. Yeah, I know. In Hollywood, even infidelity is traditional. Now, obviously, she's having an affair with someone. You're going to pretend the other night didn't happen. In fact, sometimes it seemed the only time romance moved away from tradition was when things got a tad satanic. I've found my true mate, and you know it. Wouldn't he be fun at the reception? If it is true that movies reflect society's perception of love, sometimes we're a pretty confused lot. You're having his child? I think it's his child. You like me, don't you? It's a strange world, isn't it? Of course, while some of us might be confused, there are always those who prefer the more direct approach. And I happen to like uncomplicated sex. Won't you please call this number? 844-WIFE. That's 844-WIFE. But whatever the traditions, there has been some new ground broken. Perhaps the most talked about movie of last fall was Blue Velvet, which dealt with, among other things, a relationship of dominance. Whether you liked it or loathed it, Blue Velvet gave us a look into one of the darker corners of the human arena. Perhaps fittingly, the movie that spoke about relationships with the clearest voice was not in the Hollywood orbit at all. It is a touch cynical, but any adult will see glimpses of himself or herself in the decline of the American empire. You really love me, don't you? Now, we have come a good distance. Peggy Sue Got Married gives us a fairly graphic example of the changes the movies have undergone in the last 25 years. An audience of 1960 would have been as scandalized as Peggy Sue's boyfriend is about to become. Let's make love. What? You mean sex? What can we expect in the future? Well, we've already had the spectacle of Clint Eastwood reading Cosmo, and you're not going to get much stranger than a quite affectionate love scene with a fly. Unless, of course, you count something like this from Sid and Nancy. After this, there's not much new ground to break. Or that you want to break. That, of course, is not true. Now, we'll always get a traditional view of romance from Hollywood, because, after all, we are dealing with fantasy here. But occasionally, along with the fairy tales, we'll get some texture. Choose your favorite. Maybe a combination of the two. For midday.